Z51 versus non-Z51. Real world comparison. Let's see which one's right for you. What's up guys? Happy Sunday and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing something kind of overdue and that is a direct comparison between the non-Z51, which I have, and a Z51 2LT. I've been meaning to do this video for a while and I do apologize, but one of my viewers up in Williamsburg, not too far from me, has a 2023 C8 2LT Z51 and we're going to do exact comparison. We'll swap uh, driver's seats, we'll go over the car itself and see which one is a better buy, if you will. Uh, I think they're both great bargains regardless, so I'll give you my real world uh, feel and experience if that makes sense. So maybe it'll make me regret not getting the Z51. I don't know, we'll find out. Uh, I do know the two LT trims. I really wish I had cooled seats and a HUD, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? I'm going to get my button gear, get going up there, and um, yeah, we'll do a little cruise too, and it should be a fun little video. made it all right so checking out andrew's uh c8 2023 right yes yeah uh 2 ulti 2 ulti z51 so these are the tips i hope hopefully you've been following right my my stupid yeah, yeah. um exhaust issue I actually lubricated them the other night it's fixed for now it did something yeah, actually yeah it did something so we'll I see if it lasts if you'll do that so I, I just did it on a whim. It was driving me insane, and it worked. I was like, oh, shit, okay. He has, obviously, the Z51 spoiler, which you're going to high wing, right? Are we going to do that in the next couple of weeks? In the box. Cool. Yep. Yeah, I'm loving these wheels. What are the name of these wheels? People are going to ask. They're uh, Stance. Stance wheels forged, so they're like a SF. Oh, cool. It is a forged, not a. Okay, cool. And these are the same size as factory, so you just took your wheels off, right? Or your but, tires off? But the offset is better, so it does push these out. If you can oh, yeah, I can Oh, you don't need spacers. So much better. You're not yeah. going to kill your uh, your um, so your hubs. Are... Yeah, it makes it look even more exotic than it already is. But you had the base base wheels, right? Those just I did. yeah, which they aren't bad for what they They're are. Bad, you know. yeah, your still smells Something new too. You got to sign up for. Yep. So yeah, so obviously you're familiar with mine. One LT. This is a two LT. He's got the HUD option. He's got the more red up on the uh, the dash. Obviously, he has heated to cooled seats, which I am jealous about. That you have the the rear view mirror, right? That flips. Yeah. Do you use it? Oh yeah. Okay. I use the front cameras and the back to back this in. Dude, it's it's a uh, and front lift. You yeah. So you you this is a fully option two LT, right? I guess mostly, right? So Z fifty one two LT front lift, uh, the hundred dollar mirrors and spoiler, black tips. Real quick, the same size, I believe the same caliper or rotor, but yours are thicker. We'll go look at mine in a second. Yeah, like we, we do that or we'll pull up somewhere and we just sit. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go for a little ride. Mine first. I'll show you my calipers real quick. So I'm pretty sure they're different. Yeah, these are a little smaller. Not huge difference, but a little bit. All right, so <laughs> he, he's, he's used to all the bells and whistles. He's used to the, the rear camera. Ooh. I don't have blind spot monitoring. Okay. Okay, so just it's scary. <laughs> it's scary. It's scary. I don't like it. People online are like, get over, idiot, you know? And, like until you drive it, it's like holy shit. I come from my wife's cars, all everything. I get in this, and I'm like shit. But it still feels the same, right? You don't have all the luxurious stuff, right? No. Yeah. This is what I want. I couldn't get the stealth package in time. Don't you have? Or is that an overlay? It's an overlay. Get yeah, overlay. Got gotcha. you. I do not all that like silver, the aluminum. Like, I don't like it's just it. Just like whoa, it's like, kind of tacky. If yeah. it was less, less is more. I agree. But you're just like this and this and. I like, if I get 2LT with just the red, I like just the stitching up there. I don't like too much red up here. That's just me. Just the stitching, I think, is perfect. Right. I like it. Simple. So, no HUD, as you probably noticed. And put it in any mode you want. I have a Z mode, <laughs> like, like I told you, but you can do whatever you want. Whatever you're comfortable driving it. That's just, that was different. It's weird, right? <laughs> I mean, it looks like I'm, like, I'm comfortable, but it's like I have yet to find the right position. That's fair. Where I am, so I look like I'm... Super frumpy half the time, my own car. It's still cool, this car's been out four years and people still stop me all the time. What is that, or uh? I mean, I came out of the gas station. I came out, I came late, I had to go to the doctor. 
Yeah. And this guy busts out of the gas station. He's like, Jesus. Jesus. He's like, where? He's behind me? I was like, he's like, I've never seen one of these. I'm like, well, get over here. Yeah, you know, so that, yeah. I always reinvigorates you. Yeah, like cool, it's cool. In the moment or daily yeah. or just like, oh, because I, I tell everybody, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm a lucky guy. I'm not, I'm not a, a stock trader or something. Mm -hmm. We're both kind of similar. Yeah, he's retired Coast Guard. I did 10 years in Navy, but I quit. And I went to school. I did different approaches, but we both are in kind of the same uh, work, right? So yeah. I, I'm a contractor for I'm aviation. Contractor. Yep, so <laughs> I'm trying to think. So I got a couple things I got to wrap up on my C5Z, obviously. I got to do the, the hood vents, which are in my garage. And I got to do the rear balance. And then this guy, one of the first things I'm going to do, I'm taking all the interior out, all the carpet out, doing sound editing. I can't, I I can't stand the uh, engine noise. This? Yeah. Oh, I did that with my C5C. I did, I did that, yeah. It's I did so three dry, layers though. of stuff. I don't like all the drivetrain noise. Does it get to you after a while? I'm trying. All the indirect injection here right now. You probably can't hear it, but it drives Mine's me like, insane. Tick -tick 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 -tick. Yeah. I'm like, what is here? Right? It just it drives me nuts. And I also want to source a. Um, Yours a seems quieter than mine. Really? <laughs> yeah. And oh, this wow. is. No, this is regular mode. This is tour, right? Tour touring, yeah. Right. You can change the mode, dude. Everyone. Um. So you mag ride, right? No. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we both don't Another have Magride. Another reason why I, I slipped in there with Wait, my, I thought Magride was standard on a C51. It's not. And See, it's let's a, learn something. It's a common constraint where they have one or the other, yeah. or both together, Kind of like and the then so many words in place. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Okay, so this feels, this ride just like yours, obviously. Mm -hmm. Similar? Oh, nice, like, softer. Which is good. Which is interesting. It should be the same, right? It's the same shocks. Oh well, no, I, you have different springs. A different springs yep. and different tires. Yeah, but you're right. I'm not complaining. Like this. Yeah. Now I'm curious to see what your sounds like in the cockpit. I think some of those things almost should be standard. With the car, you can't see nothing. Yep. Because half the time, I'm I'm almost getting over here, and it's like oh, I'm in the yellow. Like yeah. Because this thing's so fat. People don't realize how wide this car. This car is wider than the C7 Z06. Yeah. Um, and then now this the new C8 Z is almost four inches wider than that. Yeah. And I'm, I am nervous because I'm, I'm getting the four post slipped. If I get the E-Ray, is it going to fit? I was measuring. So now I'm like, shit. You better colors up here than we do, unfortunately. As far as the leaves. How many miles are on here on C8 so far? 3,600. Oh, we're almost the same. Mine's 35. And the crazy thing is I, like we get into that part when we went to Dominion Racing with. Yeah. I saw like the oil level just drop. No way. That percent, and I saw the trans percent drop. I was like, ooh. And you haven't done your uh, trans fluid yet, right? That's seventy five hundred no. miles. And it's a warranty thing. You have to get it done, or the, somebody, the warranty's void or something. Somebody there, because we we had about twenty four cars, about half were C eight, about three quarters were C eights. You know. Yeah. Somebody said, if you watch, you know, someone they said. Once you start driving, like, on the track routinely, or it might alter your maintenance schedule. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. So I was like, okay, so that's why. And I got home, I was like, whoa, it went from 50 to 32% oil. So we're about 45 minutes from each other. We're both in Hampton Roads. I'm on the south side. He's on the peninsula. If you don't live here, that makes no sense. I don't know. You can get on it if you want. No, it's 25. Oh, yeah. Trust Smart. me. Yeah. I'm not the one that gets I'm like, tickets. Yeah. AKA whoever yep. else watched this video. <laughs> I think mine's louder, like, because it's a track. Yeah. No, you're in sport. Oh. It's fun to be over here. Yeah, we were done the track and it was like, boom. Like, mm -hmm. the tires were still good, but it was like, warm tires. It's like, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like I had a couple spots where I felt slippery. My my first week having this guy, he was like I said a few weeks after me. We were like talking all excited, you know. And <laughs> I fit 500 miles going from work one night. I really got on it, and a little gear pops up, and it's like transmission hot or something. Yeah. I'm like, holy shit! I broke it already. I get home, like, dude, it's FYI, it's normal. I looked it up. You can smell some of the lube, lube I put in the exhaust. By no means my uh, engineer. Just, my car feels looser sometimes. Your car feels nice and. Tighter, tighter. That, to me, I think it'd be the opposite. Cause this is the you, you, this is the the driving the street you'll, you'll car. Tell, yeah. So we'll find out in a second. All right. So what are your thoughts on the totally stripped down? The only option I have, the right. same as you, is the exhaust. That's it. Is this a good value? People are gonna be like, oh, no, 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 what, what would you get? Yeah. Five hundred percent. Because okay. if you're if you're basing this on the performance yep. or the the touring 
mess with the car. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not going to take this and go up the driveway in my house. That's no. different. Yeah, he's, he's and, the front lift. I think we talked about that. Like I can go straight up, but yeah. my driveway just has like this it's really little thing yeah. that front lift is kind of paramount if I want to back in my gotcha. garage. All right, so we're going to cruise back to his house. We're going to do a little soupy swap, yeah. and then we'll do uh, a little drive dance. Yeah, video and pictures do the uh, the torch red no justice. This car is so pretty. I was just telling him, this is the same uh, red they've used the last, geez, 20, 25 years. I told my neighbor, he goes, this is crazy. Yeah, and I, I told my wife, we don't see Aiken mode. We're like dealing drugs or something. It's a match. We're, we're, yeah. com we're comparing. Yeah, yeah. what's up, man? What's up, man? I'm Mark, Tim. by the way. This is Tim. Mark, Mark. Nice Mark, Tim, yeah. nice to meet you. Um, what year is yours? 23. Oh shit. Yeah, we, we bought them about a month apart from each other. You put on doing anything spoiler wise? Or you like I, I'm actually I'm, I'm taking his and then I'm putting a new one on his in the next few weeks. Nice. That's what we're gonna do. A little, um, little swap. What do you call that? Like a ghost light? What do you call that light? It's ceramic matrix. It's actually a gray. Well I was gonna say when people say gray, I'm like, no, it's not. Now like, go take a like a white business card, put up to it, it's like, oh it, it's definitely gray. It looks white by itself. A car a white car next to it, you're like, oh it's gray. It, yeah, it'll I mean, mess with you. It's cool. And that one says like, what again? Ceramic matrix gray. Yeah. Okay. It's a C7 color, right? Yep, it came out, yeah. I mean, it's rare as crap. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Cool. It's cool. People always ask, what is that? What color is that? It's always the same conversation. It's fine. It's cool. I really still don't know how you answer it. Even if you, you tell them the matrix was great, it's like, uh, <laughs> okay. it's like, it's like um, If it's cloudy, just cloudy, it looks blue. Yeah. It's weird. I don't know. But there's like a little metallic if you yeah. see the sun. Yeah, go look at it. Go go examine it. It's interesting. <laughs> I mean, I'll keep my distance. No, nah, you're I, fine, man. I'm I not one of those guys. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all have cool. fun. All right, buddy. For you. Comfortable? Oh, good. Yeah. This is <laughs> exactly. I I got a HUD. This is nice. I love a, I love a good HUD. Is know? that gonna work? What do you mean? The retrofit you're. I gotta find out. I aiming think so. to do. I think so. So again, I have different tires. Four, yes. So. Four S's, just like the. That's right. ZP1. I have the normal Michelin. Pilots. All season. Yep. And you have the. What are they called? Pilot Sport Four S's. That sounds very. I'm wrong. Somebody. Put fun of me, and again, put in whatever mode you want. Okay. You know, yeah, commuting sounds, sounds identical. The drivetrain. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, this is weird. I don't like that. What? Oh, it hurts my eyes. Looking at the rearview mirror. Is I'm it? so used to mine. <laughs> you gotta come up. What the? It, it looks when you look at it for a second, it's mm -hmm. blurry. You're used to it, I'm sure. Okay, so like, like we already established, no mag ride, but he has a stiffer suspension. It feels comparable it's not crazy it is a little stiffer though i can tell yeah. um like yeah it binds a little more floaty a little bit more like a couch which is good which i mean is I'm, good. i wouldn't yeah. complain for nothing but at the same time i think the tires need the moment to kind of get warmer yeah it seems you know if it was cold morning i'm like oh i got i got to feel your cold seats kind of like I've missed this on my C7. So I don't I feel do. much. Just, I don't know. Because I think sometimes I wear like, you know, say an undershirt and a shirt for work. No, I feel the cool. That's that's amazing. The, the AC is also on on the floor, so it sucks it right up and pushes it up your butt. We have a real cup holder. Isn't that nice? About time. If you're a C5 guy, you know what we're talking about. Because I had about. The, the adapter thing to the yeah. side, and then it interfered with the passenger. Yeah, I feel like they, they made the C5. They're like, cup holders. They're like, oh yeah, shit. Uh, Throw something up there. Oh yeah, this this whole mirror thing. Can I change it back to my whatever you need? I'm used to it. That's all. Yeah, I mean this is your rodeo. But I'm sure if I had this, I would get used to it. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Don't be like, oh, I knew it. I told the, you it's stupid. The, the same to me if I yeah. If you remind my hat, you're like, oh, I'm pretty right. well. yeah. You have a corner behind about your... forty degrees of angle. You can't see anything. Yeah. And uh, unless they're right behind, or right to your right, if they're a lane over or coming in off an off ramp, you can't see anything. It's kind of dangerous. What is the starting price now for a C8? The, it, it used to be 50, 59, 8, I or 58, six, 9, 67, seven, something six, with. Yeah, just four years with, it's jumped up uh, to the grand. delivery. That sounds about right, yeah. Because we can go back, I still have my window sticker. Yeah. I framed mine in my garage. Yours has that little squeal too when you kind of take off. Like, I think so. It's, so I mean, it's I like think this. It's in the. Um, the, uh, the belt pulley system right behind it because the belts are right there. Yeah, because it's it's facing that way. Exactly. And to me, it's like okay, so think suspension, tires, put that e diff. It's like yeah. But and the DCT, it's you know new. It's all new. Um, what just half this car is like different. Yeah. Whereas you know before it's a, a single cam V8, but now it's. 
Well, now it still is a single cam V8. It's a push rod still. Yeah. But a lot more electronic uh, eights. And, uh, Which is good because, man, I slapped it in track yeah. and pound it and moved it. And it was like, this car could do more than I'm skilled to do. Yeah, I'll never forget the, the limits of it. I, I like working on cars. I'm not a race car driver. Yeah, I feel like your <laughs> drive train's a little different than mine. Right. Because, I mean, bit, yeah. If you come to a stop, Makes some different noises. Not bad noises, just different noises. I mean, these are some good brakes on yeah, they are. the base car, even. Yep. What have you seen with highway mileage when you take a trip? I got like 27.9 a few weeks ago. I was like, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Because I forget what, you know, say the, uh, the window sticker says for highway, but I was like, let's take it left here. Your ticket is louder. Your ticket See, the higher like, is louder. That way yeah. you can tell them I'm crazy. You're not crazy. That's why. So I'm gonna start doing sound editing in three parts. I'm doing the all the carpet behind me with probably two, maybe three layers. Uh -huh. I'm gonna do a second window. I'm gonna source one from, oh. from a. Uh, they, they'll stick right on the back of it, and then I'm gonna when I take the exhaust off to do my uh, high flow cats. I'm gonna wrap the um, the AFM valves. I hate that noise. <laughs> I'm talking about and I think I hear it but then yeah. sometimes I don't know yeah because I'm just trying to see every like yep. feature and either hear it let them feel it if you're driving so I'm like I'm like hypersensitive in noises I'm like autistic or yeah because I'm like so, uh, yeah like that it's like well you know I've had motors that had big hydraulic rollers yep but this is like that it's different. Direct injection, yeah. like <laughs> mousy little. <laughs> yeah, if you've never driven one, if you drive one, you'll know what we're talking about. My C70, the same thing, but you had a fireball between you, so you couldn't hear it. The C5C was terrible. Um, so I wrapped the headers and then it fixed that. Yeah. So, like on this little road, does that feel different? It feels eh, It's a little stiffer, but not in a bad way. When I say stiff, I don't mean like terrible vibrations. Right. It feels a little more confident than mine. Okay. Mine's, mine's too comfortable. I know that sounds stupid, too comfortable. but it's too. It feels like a Cadillac, but this feels more like a sports car. But that's fine. It's fine. Like it's, it's not a bad it's, thing. Yeah. It's a big option that makes a big difference. Correct. If this is an airport route, we take that one. Left for here. Yeah. Yeah. See, I don't get that tick on the on the diesel like you do. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't... it's not. Again, it's not bad. I'm being critical, but not critical like oh, this is dog shit. Just critical. Just it's different. So this is giving me a little... Okay, cool. Oh, and also I want to do a video probably mid-November when the leaves are nice here. Um, just out middle of nowhere. Just a nice scenic road if you want to come with me. I was, I'm going to be a scenic Corvette video. Sure. You know what I mean? If you can like, be in front of me, it'll be a cool video. Yeah, yours is much louder. Right. So I was like, well, I mean... Yeah. But why? It's it, that, The engine's the same. The sound deadening's the same. You're the same everything else miles in the car yeah exactly the same miles it's like within a hundred of them yeah so and they were see. built one month apart feels the same like the biggest difference like for my old car was like this it's like you lift the gas you're like this car wants to keep going yeah and you're like like shit we're in we're in town here sorry yeah it just says I want to go I am yes I'm ready to it just lurches and you're like you know okay it's funny you say that so this uh, it's, it's a gas car right if you ever driven a Tesla not driven okay it, it almost has the same acceleration like instant torque if it's wanting to go absolutely it's weird it's geared perfectly for that the uh, the mixture fuel air everything is just throttle is perfect it almost feels electric off the line almost I'm not skinny right you can tell so with me and about you know, guy, if you just towing you, yeah. two point nine through sixty. I was like, that's that stupid, nuts. It's crazy. But the beauty is like, it's shifting. Yeah. You you blink, you're like, oh, I I missed a gear, yeah. or one two three. It's like, no, I'm already there. We're we're done. We're sixty seventy. And this transmission is phenomenal. I was a little worried for the price points, how they managed to make a, a DCT at this price. It's good. Do you have any issues with it? I love it. No, I mean, I, when you're in track mode, when you're lurching in traffic, you get a little, 
Well, I just feel like cause it's, it's, a it's a dual it's, clutch. Yeah, so I it's, think a, it's a manual transmission, but controlled with the computer. That's like my engineering mind where I'm like, yeah. dual clutch means it's going to be clutchy and... Yes. It'd be the same as if you're like... Actually, with the clutch, You're yeah. kind of going ahead and you're going to manual shift it. Yep. If you walk around people and you see what are your complaints, I'm like... I think the phone holder right it's there goofy. is kind of funny, yeah. but... I would forget it's there. Where's my phone? I can't reach it, so my son has to Dude, get even, it. I, I'm not big. Even for or me, I, I always it. can't reach it. Or you uh, take a left. But you're going to forget the phone because yep. it's like... Out of sight. Th- out of sight, out of mind. But I was like, oh, because the sad thing is my... Uh, I don't know where else you could put it. I mean, I, you're I, right. I, it, I appreciate they it. They got creative. Like, oh, this is a... It would just be a normal waterfall, like the C5, C6, right? Yeah. But they were like, let's put it there. I guess they were like, that's yeah, fine. Works. But I mean, you can tell they're they're thinking a generation ahead by looking at this car for sure. Yep. Because this is all clean, sh- what do you call it? The clean sheet new car. Mm-hmm. Whereas C5, yeah. C6, eh, C7 maybe. Yeah. But yeah, but the only part uh, that was borrowed from the C7 was the tour actuators. That's it. They maxed out everything to zero one. Like, that's right, the best that, we that could platform. do. And it's always a fight to get with you two. Like, like, the engine's stupid. They didn't be cool. Like, no, they they, they like, reached the, the max that they could with, with the front engine. And they were just like, well, somebody thought about this in the 60s. Yeah, but, exactly. They didn't have the funds or tech there then to do it. Yeah. So, to make it affordable. But there were other uh, concepts since then. Because, you know, all this don't take for granted. It's not a toaster. It's... Oh, no. It's a... Uh, the, the, the car everybody pretty much appreciates because like what is this hard to get yeah and all the parts are made all over the world they all kind of come together to be built with all these people that know have special skills yeah it, you're right it's not just something like because that was in you know, my first dealer experience was like somebody told me to come to you because you can fill my head with other stuff that I don't know you have questions to say what are you going to do with this car if not don't get this or this you know and be wasteful of your, your money. All right, so we're gonna head back to his house. Um, we'll take both cars, probably we're gonna go to Old Town here, we'll do a little uh, thumbnail or something. Yeah. Sound good? So yeah, we had a nice little uh, comparison drive, nothing too crazy, I didn't put it to the limits, but we kind of said what we said as far as the differences, nothing too crazy, but that's still an awesome value. I got a little picture from Andrew's son, pretty cool. So yeah, he has the same size tires, but the offset on his new wheels or rims are flush. I like so much better. So does the uh, the black tip exhaust. I really like his rear end. It's nice. It sounds weird, but you know what I mean. So real quick, just walking around. Yeah, the rotors on the Z51 are a little bigger than this guy. Not a lot, but it, it's noticeable. I mean, the caliper looks different. The caliper is it could different. Could be the same uh, pistons, but it looks like more. It, it looks meatier. Yeah. Yeah. So, but you know what? It's that's the 6K you pay for. So, is what it is. Mine stops just fine. And my, my C5Z, if I ever track, that's more my track car. When you drive that, that thing is stiff. All right, well, that was fun. And thanks again, Andrew, for letting me borrow your car and being a part of this little video. So bottom line, on the road, to me, they both felt identical. Um, if you're gonna buy a C8 in a Stingray form and you know you're gonna track that car, get a Z51. If you're on the fence or you might track it every so often, more of a cruiser, you're fine with a non-C51. Um, the only time you're going to see a big difference, again, is hardcore track driving. Just driving around town, they almost felt like the identical car. The springs are a little stiffer on the Z51, but it's it's so it's so minute. It's so it's such a little difference. It, it wouldn't really bother you. So for my needs, yes, the non-Z51 performs just fine. I do got to get some more goodies to make it look like a Z51. Not a big deal. So hopefully this helps someone out there. As far as the 2LT, 1LT, the, the rear view mirror, which I suspected, I've used it before, I was not a fan of that. Um, I do like the um, change lane assists or the little the little graphic in the mirrors because it's, it's just dangerous, man, with the, the shitty visibility on the right side. Um, the HUD was nice, the cooled seats was nice. Is it worth 7K more for just those two? I don't know. The jury's still out. I still gotta get a way to get a HUD in my 1LT. I'll get there one of these days, so. Hopefully someone found value in this and had fun watching it. It was fun to make. So, All right, guys, I'll see you guys in a few days for another fun Corvette video. Mark out.